Where is everybody? We're the only ones left. We got some leftover news stories. We should do a post-graduation edition of Your, Your Nightly News. news. Welcome to the Nightly News. I'm Ian. And I'm Mark. As you may know, lots of students leave early for BACC. Today, students go into their second semester in 2021. Let's go ahead and check what the BACC students are doing now. Hello, uh, I am here with Delilah, a fellow student attending at BACC. How are you, Delilah? I'm good. Okay. Um, tell me, what class are you attending today? Uh, culinary 1. Ooh, Culinary 1. How exciting. What are you guys doing currently in Culinary 1? Um, right now we're working on making soup. Mm -hmm. um, I just got back from remote learning and I'm going back on Monday, so it'll be exci I'll be excited to start doing that. Oh, great. And how was uh, remote learning? Um, it was hard for me because uh, I prefer to be in person, mm -hmm. but now that I'm back it's been good. It's a lot been easier. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. And uh, are you looking forward into uh, attending culinary 2 next year? Uh, yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you BACC students for sharing your thoughts about this year's second semester. In our year of virtual events, one story that got missed is Theater Fest. Due to COVID, the annual Illinois Theater Fest was canceled, but Sponsors Miss Wells and Miss Swanson still wanted to do something. So the drama club instead had an unofficial theater fest filled with socially distanced activities and Zooms. First question, how do you think that it went overall? I know it was a while ago, but like, what do you think? How did, how did it go? Um, I think it was a good, I think it was a really good experience. It was really fun to get an opportunity to talk to people who are doing um, like, working in the entertainment industry in a lot of different capacities, everything from costume design to set design to um, working on crew for Saturday Night Live and for the NBCA or NBC and directing and acting. It was, I think it was a really good experience to get an opportunity to see people and talk to people who do a variety of things and who kind of talked about all the different possible careers that are available in the entertainment industry. I think it's always good to hear like how people get to where they are because sometimes you start out in one direction and you end up kind of going in a different direction. I think that's a good, I think that's always a good message to get because you leave here as high school students and you really don't know what you want to do. You know what you think you want to do, but sometimes when you get out into the bigger world, like that universe changes a little bit. So I think it's interesting the people that probably started out in one career and ended up in a different career and how they sort of changed their pathways. And even once they were in a career, they changed and then did something different too. And I think no matter what you're doing, if you're going into entertainment or if you're going to be a chemistry teacher, that's always a really good message to know is that you can change your mind. You can do something different at any point in life. So I think that was good. Yeah. So what all happened at this unofficial theater fest, including the Zooms that we had with the people? So we had two different sessions. We had a session that was from like two to four and we had, or I'm sorry, two to six. And we had four different groups. Um, we had the yoga instructor from who's been helping out here at the school. We had a staff member who teaches at Flanagan and he is an opera singer. And then we had a couple of Zooms with a person that I know who was a stage manager and then another person that Mr. Kowalczyk knew who did a variety of special effects. So they each kind of had a Zoom session, talked a little bit about what they did, how they did it. Some people did some vocal coaching. We did some yoga. And then in the evening, we had a whole panel with nine different people where we kind of talked about a variety of sort of theater in the bigger world, you know, like in New York City and in bigger places where they do it as more of a, um, a for-profit experience rather than, you know, like a community theater sort of experience, so. All right, thank you. Thank you. First, 
how is this different from any other regular theater fest you normally go to? All right, so normally on years that we have Theater Fest, we travel down to either ISU in Bloomington Normal or we go down to U of I in Champaign-Urbana, and it's hosted at one of those two schools every year. Uh, due to that and the large numbers that we would have at Theater Fest, we're talking like thousands and thousands and thousands of high school students across the state of Illinois, um, we kept it here at home. And so that is one of the big differences. So what we could offer and what we could do um, was also different because of the pandemic and how we have to try to maintain as much socially um, safe distance as we can. Um, and what, how do you think that this, how the unofficial theater fest went? I think it went really well. Um, I would say that I really, really liked um, the gentleman that was working with Mr. Kowalczyk. He was... Um, talking about like, you know, some prop making types of things and having to construct stuff. And he had been in several movies, which I thought was really super cool. Um, the other thing I really thought was uh, awesome about ours was I liked the panel we had at the end of the night um, because there were people that had worked, you know, a lot, well, I guess a lot on the East Coast. Um, but they were talking more about live theater, which I thought was like really cool. Um, and just hearing other different stories was really fun. All right, thank you. Thank you. As second semester continues, remember to stay safe. For the Nightly News, I'm Molly. Speaking of stories that got left out, let's look at girls' sports. Hello and good morning, Fieldcrest. Today's stories will be talking about girls' sports, such as volleyball, softball, and basketball. Let's take a look, shall we? Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Ella, a captain of the Fieldcrest High School girls' basketball team. Uh, how was this season compared to past years? Um, this season, we really didn't get the chance to play as many games as we wanted. However, we tried to achieve our goal of being conference champions. However, we fell short by one game, but that's okay. Um, we really wish we could have went to regionals this year because we were on a good streak. But we are a very young team, so what we have next year with all of our girls. Um, what do you feel like was a high point during your season? Um... Definitely around the end of our season, we really came together as a whole, and we were all so happy to just be out on the court. I feel like we did very well as a team, and Laura Dequette was one of like our biggest supporters, because like, she's our senior, and she just kept the team going, and it was very good. Um, how do you think the team has improved as a whole this year? Um, we definitely got better on defense. We are a very defense-oriented team. And I feel that we improved with our three-pointers as well. Haley Carver had a lot of big scoring games for us. And it was just a great season together. We very, were very united. Sounds good. All right. I'm Leah. This is Kaya, uh, captain for the Fieldcrest High School softball team. Um, what has been different about practice this season? Um, with COVID, we have to wear masks for practice, and it's really hard outside sometimes to wear masks, but we all get through it, and everybody does a great job with it, and practice overall, it's been great. We all work together as a team, and it's just been going really good. Um, are you looking forward to regionals this year, and how do you think it's going to go? Yes, I'm looking forward to regionals. Um, normally, we're in a pretty difficult regional but it'll be interesting to see how we do and grow as a team because it's always a learning experience for everybody so that'll be interesting to see and I can't wait for it it'll be fun um what are you looking forward to the most about this season oh I'm looking forward to us growing as a team overall because we're so young and we'll have the same team pretty much next year so I think it'll be a growing year for us as a team overall and we'll get closer and come back for next year and finish off strong this year too. Hi, I'm Molly and this is Caroline, uh, captain for the volleyball team. And I just wanted to ask how has the season gone or how did it go? Um, it was a really good season. It was really fun. A nice last season to have. We beat DMAC. Uh, that hasn't happened for Fieldcrest in a really long time. So that was really exciting. Um, this is your last seat. This is your last season. You're a senior. You play all four years. How does that feel? 
um, it's sad, but I'm also kind of happy and excited to move on to the next chapter of my life, and I can't wait to see Gracie play in college. That's really exciting, too. How has the season gone, even with COVID, you know? Um, it was definitely different. It was like a trial run for next year, I'd say, because we were a really young team, and there's only two seniors, so they're not really, like, losing a lot next year, but... With masks and everything, it was really hard, but it also gave us, like, the opportunity to, like, really just make the most out of it and just have fun doing what we could do because the next game wasn't always guaranteed. Great. Thank you. And that does it for this story. Thank you, girls, for taking your time. Remember to stay safe and wear your mask the right way. As you may know, there's some construction going on. And we have some insights. What is everything that is going to be done in the addition? Oh, everything in the addition. Uh, the Ag Classroom and Ag Shop are two large pieces of the addition. And then we are also moving the kitchen upstairs. So that will be um, on the north side of the Ag Shop. And then the gym lobby will be the new cafeteria. Okay. And what is the estimated date that everything will be done? Fall. In the fall? Not by the start of school. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. How has everything been going so far with the construction? Um, pretty well. Um, we're moving right ahead. Um, we're going to start digging some footings here this week. Um, obviously, we got the kitchen area, the building tore down. Um, that was a big headache of getting permits lined up and stuff like that. But other than that, it's going pretty well. Does working on the school while students are here? Uh, make anything different or harder for you guys? Uh, makes it a little more challenging just trying to coordinate with the superintendent on how the flow of kids are going to go and how to keep you know my workers separate from you guys so we don't interact with each other as much as we can. Other than that, it, it, I think this year it went pretty well. All right, thank you. Well, that's it for our show. Have a safe summer, and we'll see you next year for another edition of Your Daily News.